Okay, so off screen, I have leveled everybody up at least five times, or yeah, five times since that last battle, and not not only that, but Blastoise, but the War Turtle and Ivasaur evolved into Blastoise and Venusaur, and I'm bringing Snorlax along because I can, I should, Primate. I got Mankey evolved into Primate. And... And Snorlax is now on the team. I wanted to become a ninja. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Snorlax. I'm gonna buff that amp. I'm gonna use Amnesia and just try and wall in... Yeah, completely wall in the psychic type attacks here. <laughs> there we go, and now we're gonna have Headbutt, since Body Slam is disabled. And now Snorlax can wreak havoc on this guy. Yeah, out of boy Snorlax. Critical hit. Unfortunate, but headbutt, you go down, Kadabra. Get the hell out of here. Excellent job, Snorlax. This is why I brought you on the team. Poison gas. Not preferable, but hey, I got rest. I'm done for. I also study the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. This is the guy with an Arbok and a Tauros, I think. Out of here, buddy. Sand Slash, which means we bring out our... Yeah, let's bring out Venusaur. Get out of here. Body slam again. A woo. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? Okay, and then we'll just hypno. I should level up Pikachu, a la what Ash did in the series. Well, he didn't, well, there's no leveling, no leveling up in the anime, of course, but you know what I mean. He made Pikachu his main Pokemon, obviously, and Red has, 
Red's highest level Pokemon was uh, Pikachu. Anyway, Razor Leaf, good. Arbok. Oh yeah, Paralysis, baby. Boom! God, Snorlax is good. So good. So, so, so good. Whoa, he's got it. We'll see if I have to heal. Heal at the Poke Center. Fwahaha. A mere child like you dares to challenge me? Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. Except for the fact that Snortlax overcomes that with rest. And you use a Venonat. A very high level Venonat. But a Venonat nonetheless. Good riddance, Pikachu. Good riddance. Ben and Ant, again. Koga, another Venonant, Jesus. And the last one's a level 50 Ven Venomoth, I guess. <laughs> X attack, yeah, that'll work well. Yep. Oh, fuck you, too. There's no... Okay. I'm gonna hope that I can kill Venomoth before... Double Team gets out of hand. Uh... Yes, you did it! And you somehow got a critical. <laughs> Snorlax is the big boss in my team here. Defense of your Pokemon increases. It lets you use Surf. TMO6. Toxic it is a secret technique over 400 years old. So everyone knows what Toxic does. It poisons the Pokemon... And the, the damage, the poison damage increases over time. The, the damage counter still increases even if it's used on a Pokemon with um, poison heal as an ability. It's just that, like, the amount of health restored through poison heal does not increase, but if the ability is nullified, in, as of later generations, obviously. Um, the damage counter will still increase, and thus, if the ability is negated, Toxic will just one-hit kill the Pokémon in question. Now, time to get the gold teeth. 
Wait a minute, actually, before I get the gold teeth, let me, uh... Let me clean out my inventory a little, because I am going to need some inventory space. Uh, sell... What can I sell that I want to sell? Well, I will use an iron. Um, uh, Snorlax? Yeah. What's that? Counter, yeah. That's toxic. I'm definitely gonna want to use that on somebody. use a special Pokeball here. Now, I did actually look at this off-screen because I wanted to make sure I knew where I was going. And it's actually pretty easy. We're not gonna go out of our way to capture anything here. Unless we have time. And I'm not speeding up because... Most of us know that you have 500 steps. Um, all I'm going to do is capture, or get the uh, gold teeth, the surf TM, and call, and call it good. If I want to get the rest of the items, then I'll just do that off screen. Oh wait, I don't go that way. I go this way, I think. I will speed up the encounters. Okay, there's no way I'm capturing one of these without save state abuse. But just for shits and giggles, let's try. Yeah. Yep. That's the story of Kangaskhan and Tauros. You better pray to God that... You better either use save states... Oh wait, this is not where I go, is it? No. Either use save states or pray to God that you get lucky. Or, in Gen 1, you use the missing no or the Safari Zone glitch. And unfortunately, Nintendo had the the 200 IQ idea to remove the Safari Zone glitch. I would have left that in. Especially with especially given shinies are a thing as of the remakes. There's gold teeth. Ah, finally. You're the first person to reach the secret house. Alright, HMO3. That is Surf. And I am absolutely going to teach uh, Blastoise that. Oh yeah, I forgot Snorlax can learn Surf. So stupid, but it can. Do, 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 do. 
So we're gonna now, I guess, try and capture some things. Ooh, execute. I wouldn't mind having an execu executor. So I don't know the exact mechanics of how all this shit works. I know that um, throwing rocks makes Pokemon more likely to run away, but easier to capture. Bait makes them harder to capture, but friendlier. Or some nonsense. It's, it's a terrible system, honestly. Like, I hate the Safari Zone. <laughs> Here I'm trying to just wiggle around. That is really hard to do on a keyboard. I gotta say, I... It's... It is hard to do this on keyboard, IMO. I do kind of have interest in one Pokemon in particular. You probably already know which Pokemon that is. Although I don't know if it actually spawns here in yellow. I'm just gonna save state, I don't give a fuck. If you all had this as an option... Huh. Is this thing just always coded to run? Okay. If y'all had this as an option in the actual game, you would use it. Don't tell me you wouldn't, you totally would. I don't care if it's legitimate or not. It's my playthrough, I do as I damn well desire. Okay, you know what? Fine. Let's throw a ball at it. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, how is this supposed to be possible without save states? I'm not sure if you can even do... I'm not even sure if this is helping. You don't know fuck it then. Ultra hard to just turn, just turn Ash the right way. Oh, I'm not gonna make it to another area in time. Oh, well, whatever. It's no big deal. Kangaskhan. Yeah, I don't, I don't think... I'm not sure if safe stating actually helps with this. Time's up. Your game's over. Thank God. And now that that's done... Let us quickly go to... Go to Saffron City. Where we are going to fight the former... The former gym. Which consisted entirely of fighting type Pokemons.
And we're just gonna put the Diglet away. We're not gonna need you for a long time, Diglet. We're gonna bring out the Pidgeot, however, because Pidgeot is gonna be good for flying us directly there. I, just, I really hate the disgusting yellow background, I'm not gonna lie. And we'll just put the Pidgeot away. Would you move? Hoo-ha! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. Goodbye. And a prime ape. Ah, <laughs> critical hit, nice. Oof, I give up. I hear you're good. Show me. Nothing tough frightens me. I break boulders for training. Sure you do, Black Belt, with your primate. Oh no, rage. A terrible, a terrible, terrible move. Yeah, I'll stubbed fingers. Hoorah, take your shoes off. And primate, yep. I think that probably just used Karate Chop, if I had to make a guess. Uh, yeah, let's use Venusaur here. I give up. Grunt. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwa! Hitmonchan. Not, neither of these are especially good Pokemon in Gen 1, but Hitmonchan is horrible, because guess what type moves Ice Punch, Fu Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch are? If you guessed their physical moves, you would be wrong. They are all special. Thus, Hitmonchan is basically completely worthless until Gen 4 when Game Freak had the big brain idea of making moves special or physical depending on what type of move they are, not just by their type. Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. We'll do Hitmonlee. Better not get greedy. So yeah, just because you don't want to get greedy, we can't take the Hitmonchan too. Though I would have no problem with taking the Hitmonchan. Now I'm not going to use Hitmonlee, I just wanted him in the party. Or I just wanted to get him. Rather. And Hitmonlee. There you go.
And next time... Actually, hold on a second. Let me get the Pidgeot back out. Next time, I'm going to perform the Missing No glitch. Or not Missing No, uh, Safari Zone glitch. And I will capture a Tauros. So, I will see you guys next time for that. And then clear the Silphco building. Farewell. <laughs>